okay now in the last tutorial what we did is that we created the project right here we have created the project and into that project we have seen one file called as settings.gradle which is nothing but the model configuration right now in this tutorial I am going to create one another module right I am going to create one another module so right click and here you can say new module I am clicking on the new module which is nothing but the gradle over here tick the Java right because presently I am dealing with the Java not with the Android after that we can deal with that then say next right and significance of this what you can say group ID artifact ID and the version you'll get to know afterwards what are these things you'll get to know afterwards okay then artifact is that what is the name of your module why you are creating say you can say sample module I can say something called as sample module then here you can say next right here it is showing you I am going to save this over here I am going to save this over here right means root can be at another level and your module can be at another level that's what it is saying and you can say just finish right you can just say finish so I have finished the code and I got what you can say one f more folder over here with the name sample here you can check in the settings.gradle I'm showing you in the settings.gradle you got one more module called as include sample you got another module called as sample the way modules are getting increased you will find include statements would be increased in this file right so you are including this different different modules right okay now if you can see this thing settings.gradle then gradle w dot bat it is nothing but the bat file for the windows it is a starter file if you want to start your project if you want to start your project you can use this file if you want to start the same project on the Linux what I'm saying if you want to start same project on the Linux you can use this shell script right you can use this shell script see how instead of opening the separate terminal you can use this terminal over here right so you would be inside the root means over here this will show you this folder over here right now if you want to what you can say execute something you would be using this shell script can you see dot gradle w shell script can be executed like this dot gradle w and after that what is that we'll see in in a minute or minute or two right okay now gradle w is there gradle bat is there build dot gradle this is a root level file this is a root level file which decides or which suggests you name of the group artifact over here apply plugin right plugin and the source compatibility is 1.8 instead of 1.5 I can say 1.8 and target compatibility the build that is going to get generated that would be needing Java 8 over here Java 8 over here and few closures this repository and the dependency repository and the dependency right so there is something called as plugin right there is something called as plugin they have written something called as plugin over here now let us see what do you mean by gradle plugin how they have defined the gradle plugin see what do you mean by the gradle plugin see here they have defined the gradle plugin right they, they said that gradle at its core intentionally provide very little real world automation very little real world automation all the useful features like ability to compile the Java code are added by the plugins so by the definition plugins are the features or the capabilities of your project plugins 
comes comes with what task see they have given that also plugins add new task like java compile domain objects that is nothing but the source set and the conventions right like this source main java as well as extending the core objects and the object from the other plugins so what plugin does right they they come with the useful features right plugins adds new tasks domain objects and the conventions domain objects is nothing but your sources you can say all the sources come under the domain objects right source sets then your conventions in which folder what should be there build should be generated in which folder test should be there if you can check this folder structure source inside source there is a main there is a test inside source there is a main there is a test so this is the convention so inside main there would be java there would be resources there would be java there would be resources who decides this gradle decides this these are the conventions that are decided by the gradle okay what plugins do see applying plugin to the project allows plugin to extend the project capabilities plugins are nothing but the project capabilities right so it can do what you can say these many things go on reading that right types of the plugins there are two types of the plugin script and the binary plugins right means you can write something like this in another gradle file apply from another gradle file and the bri binary plugins is this this is the binary plugin that you have applied over here so here you are saying that this project is capable of dealing with the java this project is capable of working with the java that is nothing but the apply plugin java okay by the definition once you apply the plugin what i'm saying once you apply the plugin your project capabilities are getting increased see this task can you see this comes with this task and this is the source set test and this here you will find source set and here you will find the plugins right here you will find some tasks see build if you want to build the project just hit build so it would be building your projects right so in this tutorial what we have discussed what are plugins what plugins actually do right how to add the plugins by the call apply plugin there are two types of the plugin script plugin and the binary plugins and this is kind of the binary plugin here we have changed the compatibility from 1.5 to 1.8 right so in this tutorial we have seen this thing in the next tutorial i am going to deal with some commands right so how to execute few tasks that we are going to see in the next tutorial right keep watching and like us on the facebook channel or youtube channel